Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're exploring jackfruit, which is a delicious mammoth of a fruit that is actually very versatile. Today we're going beyond the fruity pods and enjoying the seeds and the rags. If you've never had jackfruit, some say it tastes like juicy fruit gum, but for me it tastes like a fruit punch mix of pineapple, banana, and maybe even mango. But the fun part is that each part tastes different as well as having a completely different texture. I hope you guys enjoy my video and please don't forget to subscribe. If you recreate any of my recipes, you can tag me on Instagram at a squishy monster where I'm probably the most active. You have two options when working with the whole fruit since it can contain a lot of latex. You can either slick your hands with oil or use gloves. For today's purpose, I'm removing the core to access these guys easier. These rags or tendrils are what will go into the curry. It's also very popular to turn it into vegan pulled barbecue. The seeds are within these golden nuggets. Though we're after the seeds today, the fruit also makes out of this world ice cream. Beneath the yellow is a white sheath that also needs to be removed. Same with the harder white shell. The brown skin can be eaten. To cook the seeds, salt boiling water and cook for about 30 minutes. You can eat this right away and add any seasoning you want. I often like this spicy rosemary mixture that I'll post the recipe for on the squishymonster.com. Served plain, these taste like chestnuts or sweet potatoes. For the curry, to half a tablespoon of coconut oil, add in one chopped onion, two freshly minced garlic cloves, and salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Grate in two teaspoons of ginger, then add in one cup of chopped tomatoes. Salt and pepper this layer as well. The spices are my own simple take on abuna, which has half a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garam masala, and two teaspoons of coriander. Pile on your jackfruit, add salt and pepper, and mix it all up. This part of the jackfruit actually doesn't taste like much, particularly if you're using young jackfruit, but it has the great texture of meat and it has the ability to soak up whatever flavor you lend it. Next to last, pour in two cups of coconut milk, the good and fatty stuff. A final salt and pepper before I served it over brown basmati and a gentle fall of cilantro. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe. I air new videos every Wednesday and I'll see you next week with a new one.